Yeah. But there is something that's actually super, super useful with the engine plates. So check this out. A 375 engine mount, guys. See that thing? Now watch this. If I take another large part that's 375, right? And we attach it, it makes the shroud. Kerbal does that. Kerbal 1 does that, no problem. Now, watch this. If I get a 5 meter tank... Oh. And then, you can go in here. Here's the best part. Zeus, this is why I showed you. It, they're the engine plates. Go into structural, multi-engine mount, and then attach something on its open node. And it'll. And then as long as you have fairing enabled, it'll make shroud for you. And then you could set the length, and then you can have it deploy regularly, or you could set it to clamshell, deploy like a fairing. They're basically backwards fairings, dude. Yeah. And then the regular fairing you just make to encapsulate payloads. Engines, the engine plates now basically work like downward facing fairings. Which is... That... That's, that's a really good feature. I, I will say that. That's, that's wicked. Whoever thought of this is smart. And 